I'm a Futubers, this is Jeff from my computer and your mom and today as you can see I, I decided to change my set a little bit I decided to talk to you about the experience I've had with my YouTube channel for the I started this channel three months ago so I decided to talk a little bit about this so the whole idea of this video is not to pretty much do the same thing every other video is doing about like giving you this sort of feedback on how to create a YouTube it's pretty much to um, talk about the expectations you should have as a creator you know like whatever the motivation is for you to make a YouTube channel I'm pretty sure there's some motivation behind it for me personally I started this um, this channel three months ago almost and it's been really interesting it's been really interesting because when I started I didn't know what to expect the whole idea of, of starting this, this channel was you know like I love cooking. I seriously do love cooking and I love when people try my food and they're like, oh wow, this is really good, maybe you can give me the recipe and blah blah blah. And before this, I would just do everything willy-nilly without any recipe and, well, to be honest, I still do. But at this moment, I'm a little bit more like, alright, I need to write this, this down and maybe experiment with this. So it has pretty much set my, my game in the kitchen a little bit, right? So. Being a YouTuber is pretty much going to step up your game or whatever you're doing. You want to create better content for your viewers and for yourself and that is going to step up your game because that means you need to create more and more. So that's something that's really interesting for me, like how something that simple can step up your game. So that, that would be number one for me, you know, like this whole YouTube thing is going to make you practice a little bit more on what you do like if you want to if you like to talk if you like to make um, God knows tutorials or whatever like you're gonna be doing more aka you're gonna be getting better at what you do point number two go to Google Trends if you don't know what it is I'm gonna be uh, putting the link in the, in the description down below and what Google Trends is is pretty much like is, is that exactly trends you know like you Go to that link and it's going to show you what is being trendy in the internet at the moment. For example, Kanye West, that guy's always a bloody trend for some reason. You know, like if you use a trend, like you're gonna attract more people towards your channel and that's a really good thing for you. So the third thing I would like to talk about is pretty much tags. I'm pretty sure most of you know what, what how to use tags and what tags are for. So. Let me just go ahead and be very brief about this. Every time you create a video, again, whatever the field that is, you have to use tags. The reason is because if you, you might do a great video, but if you don't use your tags, no one's gonna find them. You know, by using tags, you're pretty much telling YouTube's algorithms what to look for. You know, by using a nice thumbnail, you're gonna attract your audience's attention. And that's a really that's a really interesting thing that I haven't heard about many people talking. You know, like tags along with the title of your video, along with uh, your thumbnail. The next point in question will be patience. Yeah, you got that right. Patience is... Uh, I don't even know how to begin though. See, here's the thing with this thing. It takes a while, like I've been doing some research and if you're persistent and of course if you have a, a relatively interesting concept on your, on your YouTube channel, people are gonna find you eventually but do not think this is going to happen from one day to the next one. I mean if you're really lucky or if you're great at what you do, maybe that's the case and you know like screw what I said. But in most cases this is going to take some time you know so be prepared for that don't like I when I started this I I was like yeah I'm gonna post tonight and tomorrow I'm gonna I'm gonna have five more followers and maybe that's the case for a lot of youtubers but you need to reach that level first what I mean is like I've heard I've read and I've seen that the first hundred are very difficult the, the first thousand are very difficult after that of course it's difficult but it's getting a little bit easier keep 
be persistent. You know, like, if you start, and if it's really your goal to put, your, to put yourself out there, go for it. Don't give up on it. Yes, people, YouTube actually pays you to make these videos. So if you choose to monetize your videos, and if you're like me, that you like to use music for your videos, please don't use any songs that are copyrighted. If that's what you want, go for it, but beware, you're not gonna get paid for these songs because they are copyrighted. So instead of that, always use creative common songs. So basically you can find some, if I'm not mistaken, there's a YouTube library. So I'm gonna be adding all these uh, useful links down below. Me personally, I like to stay away from it because I feel like every single blogger and YouTuber are using the same songs and that's something that it's just against what I believe. But at the end of the day, it's up to you. You can also find some, some nice sound effects in there, but here's my advice. There are ways to find music with and getting paid at the same time. And that is, there are certain websites. First of all, I love checking SoundCloud. Maybe you, you, you know it, and if you don't, again, I'm gonna leave it in the description below. And then, there, all you need to write is Creative Commons. And the last but not least thing is, if you are considering to start a YouTube channel, and that's maybe the reason why you're watching this video right now, lose the fear. Fear's not gonna bring you anywhere. Start your channel. If you overthink, you're not gonna do anything. And that's not a good thing because when you finally start your channel, you're gonna be like, oh my god, if I would have started like, I don't know, like a couple of months ago or a couple of years ago, I would, I would be here, here and there. Maybe closer to your goal, but that happened to me. And that's what I'm telling you, try to stay away from this. You know, you don't have to have everything perfect. You know, like in my case, I think my, my very first video was not that long ago and I was just sitting in my living room without doing anything and I was like, all right, let's do it. You know, like I was like, at that moment, I had been thinking about making a YouTube channel for probably five or six months before that moment. And in my case, I majored in photography and um, pretty much like audiovisual type of things. So I was always like, yeah, but I don't have the equipment, I don't have the lights, I don't have this and I have the other. But the thing is that eventually, if you keep waiting, you're just postponing something that... See, here's the thing. You might plan everything and trust me, if you do, that's great because that means that your content is going to be amazing. But the thing is, like, most likely you're gonna find your style and you're going to find your own thing down the line. So don't worry about it. Like. Again, whatever the type of videos you want to create or you are creating, just, you know, go for it. This is going to happen with time. You know, like in my case, I'm still learning. I'm still in that patience phase that I was just talking recently where my channel is not growing that much, but, you know, I need to be persistent. And, um, yeah, I think that's it, you guys. I. I think this, this video is already very, very long and that was not my intention at the beginning. So yeah, if you, let me know, let me know what your, what your experiences are. Maybe you've got more tips or maybe you disagree with me in some of them. So whatever the case is, I would love to hear from you guys. And again, uh, this is just my own opinion and at the end of the day, like you are going to do whatever you think is better and if it's meant to be it's meant to be you know so that's it this is jeff from my cook better and your mom and i'll see you next time peace